fuck. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I'm late. I'm late by like five minutes. Fuck. Fuck my fucking life. Now how am I gonna, I'm gonna get spoiled. They now Pikachu is real. Fuck, why'd you have to spoil it? All because I was, all because I was late. Uh, anyways, Pokemon Presents. Um, I'm going, like, right back to bed after this shit. Ah, that's so loud. Alright, let's see, uh... Pokemon Unite! They're gonna show Pokemon Unite! Give, give for me Pokemon and, and Unite! This better, like, rock my fucking world. This better, like, change everything. Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, February 27th, is Pokemon Day. This is the date that the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were first released in Japan. Our adventures with Pokemon, which started... You can't say that. Nobody knows what Pokemon Green is. And the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games... Shut up! Don't spoil it! Into so many Stop! Life, Don't say anything! And sleeping. How am I supposed we'll to react organically? Create new ways to enjoy Pokemon, and we hope you'll continue your adventures with us. Today, we will be bringing you all the latest news about Pokemon. Let me be disappointed in peace. Titles. Mr. Utsunomiya, please take it away. Hello, I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. I hope everyone has enjoyed their adventures in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games so far. To commemorate Pokemon Day, we've planned a series of Terra Raid battle events. Oh, thank God. To face off against a mighty I don't know what I'd do Lost if we didn't get the, the, the mighty Venusaur Raid. raid. Battle events will begin tomorrow. We hope you will all enjoy these raids. Yo, Today, wait, Pokemon I'd Box like Remake? You're gonna go crazy. On a number of our other games. Please have a look at Pokemon this. Home kind of is like a Pokemon box remake. If you think about it. I actually play Pokemon Go, so this a is this is something to Pokemon me. Pokemon Go is on its way. What is going to be like the crossover though? Is it just gonna be like, oh, you can dress Pikachu up as like the protagonist? It's just the debut. Pikachu wearing the it dude's even hat. An attack new to Pokemon Go, Volt Tackle. Charcadet, Armor Rouge, and Cerulege are coming too. And Liko and Roy. That's not like a crossover. Snap pick and go snapshot. <laughs> are so just set guys that exist? With your new friends. <laughs> I'm gonna be happy with Charcadet Cubs. Dude, they added, like, fucking Reverum to Pokemon Go. And I haven't, like, had that bitch at all. I think I caught, like, one, like, Verum, and that was it. And I haven't seen, like, another one. Pokemon Sleep was funnier when it wasn't out. <laughs> I remember the good old days where Pokemon Sleep didn't exist. OMG, picture of my bestie. But can you get my Pokemon biscuits? I never give up. We're just getting started. We're the greatest in the world. You're the greatest and strongest partner. Dude, I can it's ask Pokemon for. Legends Jodo. Wow, it was actually real, guys. 
Wow, I cannot believe this stuff. They're like blazing through this. I think they finally realized nobody gives a shit about all these mobile games. Uh, what am I supposed to do without my five minute focus on Pokemon Cafe Remix, bruh? I wasn't like over the moon about Pokemon Shuffle. I felt like Pokemon Shuffle was way better than Pokemon Cafe Remix. And I think part of it was that Pokemon Shuffle had more of like the fucking like Pokemon Troze DNA in it. And Pokemon Troze was fun. Pokemon Troze is pretty dope. I could give less of a fuck about Cafe Remix, though. I don't know, I feel like I got pretty far in Pokemon Shuffle before, like, the microtransactions got too much. I don't know, I feel like I got, like, 200 levels in. Moving on, please have a look at this video. Please look at this video. You got a pack. Are they just showing off like a TCG simulator? Pokemon Milk? No! You cannot say that! This is not even a simulator, it's just like literally opening packs. Dude, you want my Eevee? Okay, there are battle sim- there is a battle simulator. That's good at least. That would have been crazy if it was literally just card collecting. Dude, check out my lappers. What a date night, I'm showing my date my awesome holographic me out. Yeah, you're fucking impressed. Yeah, buddy. I'm the Pokemon wizard. What you just saw was the world's first look at Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. This game lets you easily collect Pokemon cards, which players all over the world have enjoyed since they debuted in 1996, but in a new digital format. The Pokemon Company is developing this game as a three-party collaboration with Creatures Inc., the creators of the Pokemon trading card game, and DNA, our partners in the development of Pokemon Masters EX. To mark the launch of this title, here's a message- Oh, you know us in good hands when they got the developers of Pokemon CEO. Masters EX. Mr. Kitano, take it away. Hello, everyone. I'm Yuji Kitano from Creatures Inc. I'd like to start by thanking everyone for enjoying the Pokemon Trading Card Game. With Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket, we hope to bring you all a new way to enjoy the Pokemon Trading Card Game, so we are hard at work developing digital cards. When we develop physical cards, we strive to please by taking great care with our paper quality, colors, and printing process. 
Since this game uses mobile devices rather than paper, we're challenging ourselves to express that care in new ways that are only possible digitally, such as using the characteristics of the screen to show off brilliant colors and stylish effects. One way we're accomplishing this is with immersive cards, which give players the experience of leaping into the world of the card illustration. What's more, we've developed new streamlined game rules based on our existing battle system, so you can enjoy a quick battle during the free moments in your day. Okay. Our three companies are all working. I love hard when to these guys like are, are talking in Japanese, but like the, the English dub is game, like so as well as those who've fast that like that there's just silence. The results of our latest efforts just in the world silence in the air. Trading card game, Pokemon trading card game pocket. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Kitano. We plan to launch Pokemon trading card game pocket within 2024. Please look forward to more details in the future. Just one more thing. We'd like to end today's presentation with one final video for you all. Thank you for tuning in. One more announcement. I, did, I couldn't read what that said. I didn't have enough time. It's too early. Is Pokemon Let's Go Johto actually real? And I'm gonna look very silly right now. Sounds French. <laughs> Sacre blue. Let's go, Johto. Is it confirmed? Let's go. What is this? No, wait, this is Kalos. Yeah, this is Kalos. Okay. Thank God. I was hoping that. I was hoping that I didn't, like, look foolish. By making fun of, um, what's it called? Pokemon Legends Johto. This is the fucking main city from Kalos. Fucking Pokemon Legends Kalos? What fucking reality are we living in, bro? Pokemon Legends Kalos. Well, at least, uh, at least they're not forced to, to tie the Legends games to whatever fucking remake is coming out that year. <laughs> that was a, that was a presentation. The po Pokemon Legends Kalos apparently. Also, let's go, Mason, with the three watch streak. It really is the best thing ever. 
We're gonna get short AZ. Aren't we just gonna literally get AZ? Like, isn't that du dude old as fuck? Like, they don't need to make a change. He's already there. So is this just about, like, the building of Lumio City? I guess? If the game is, like, Professor Layden? I don't know. I guess a thousand devils upon ye. I'm guessing, like, Lumio City is gonna be, like, the main hub, and I guess it's gonna be in, like, construction throughout the game. I don't know, this is just speculation. I can't, like, I can't imagine a fucking game like Pokemon, let's, like, Legends Arceus, and then, like, have it, like, fucking take place in... The big ass Lumio City. Like, that shit cannot be finished during the game. Because then it would be the world's biggest navigational nightmare. Dude, imagine with, like, fucking modern Pokemon open world, you have to navigate fucking Lumio City, dude. Fuck. It's not happening, dude. It's not happening. There is quite literally, I, I think it's the only thing I can talk about in this whole presentation. Because what, do you want me to talk about the upcoming terror raid battles? They have Mighty Venusaur, Mighty Blastoise, and Mighty Charizard, guys. Yes, I know the presentation is over. Bro, I'm trying to watch back! Pokemon Company, come on. Work with me here. Blastoise. I'm trying to show off your awesome terror raid event. I do think it's funny as fuck that this is how we get Pokemon Z. After all these years, Pokemon Z was speculated like 10 years ago, and now we get Pokemon Legends Z. I guess when you focus on a franchise like this, you can't expect them to bring the goods every year. But man, I really was kind of hoping for, like, some kind of Pokemon NSO drop. They need Porygon Z in it, true. Alright, can someone wiser than me translate what these unknown are saying? I don't even know what this shit says. I 
Honestly, the craziest thing about the release schedule is that they're taking a gap year. Looks like so you. I don't know what that means, either. That's what's confusing me. This is not helping. This is not helping at all. Unless they put CU in the wrong order. My puppies are barking so much. Bro, did they really announce- did Sony really announce layoffs while I was doing this? Bro, can we get, like, any new, like, can we get any news that's, like, good this morning? Next thing you know, there's gonna be a... Fucking, like, little boy flying away in a hot air balloon. If I found out that happened, I don't know. I'd probably shit. It'd be over. Anyways, even with the gap year, I, I do wish they, they'd slow down the pace a little bit of Pokemon games. Because, like, here's the thing. They're going to release this game next year, and it's just going to be a repeat of the Scarlet and Violet cycle, where they also release another mainline game in the same year. You can slow it down! It's okay! I mean, I know part of it was that Scarlet and Violet was developed during, like, a pandemic, but fucking Pokemon Legends Arceus was also developed during a pandemic, and it was not like that. So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, this was, a, this was a show. I don't know, like, anything about this new Legends game. I don't even know if it's gonna play the same... They just showed, like, Lumio City being built, and that was it. This presentation was approximately, hold on, what's 12, div what's 10 divided by 12? This presentation was 83% mobile games. So average Pokemon presents. It's so funny because whenever they do Pokemon Day and they have to like go through all the mobile games again, 
it's like the most minuscule updates because the games have just been updating constantly throughout the year. So it's always some shit like, by the way, we added like Frindledorf to fucking Pokemon shit suckers unite. And that's it. Because it's like, yeah, duh, obviously they're not going to have more because it's a game that's updated like once a week, basically. Like, that, that shit's always dropping. I don't know, even the Pokemon trading card thing is, like, not that interesting to me. No way. We're finally getting Pokemon Z after all these years. Is it only two free packs a day? Bro, be for real. Come on. Two free packs a day is crazy. Pokemon Company was feeling dangerous. I mean, you guys know me. I like Pokemon. I'll probably play the next Pokemon games and, like, enjoy them. I mean, I fucking enjoyed the fuck out of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But, like, I do wish the games would slow down. I mean, there's a there's a reason that I've streamed as much Pokemon as I have. It's not because I don't enjoy the franchise. I very much do. It's just game game freak are victims of circumstance. Bro, is my is my Dragonite still in the gym? I might be getting 50 play coins today. Anyways, if you all were wondering if it was worth me getting up early for this, uh no it wasn't. <laughs> Cuz they show that like I hate being shown a cinematic trailer that doesn't actually tell me anything about a video game. It's like, that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything to me. I see Pokemon Legends Z, and I'm like, okay, but what does the game look like? Show me something. Give me, give me a little something to work with. Yo, wait, in Pokemon Go, they got Pikachu with a party hat, though? Why the fuck didn't they show that off? Elder Scrolls 6 effect? Oh no, the Elder Scrolls 6 effect is that the game doesn't exist. That's the Elder Scrolls 6 effect. Is that they announce a video game that's not real. Like, I, I still think the craziest thing ever is, like, Bethesda announcing the Elder Scrolls 6. And then, like, five years later, they announced the Elder Scrolls 6 was never in development. And like, oh, but we'll work on it after Starfield. That was fucking crazy. That game, that, it, it's like, yeah, the game is probably coming out, but it's probably coming out in like five fucking years. Why do that? 
It was the same E3 they showed off Fallout 76. Or at least they talked about Fallout 76. That's, that's the exact reason why they talked about it. Because they wanted people to be less mad about Fallout 76. And, like, usually, like, when you speculate on a company like that, you know, it's harder to make those calls. But, like, no. The Elder Scrolls Six was announced, even though it wasn't in production, because they wanted people to be less mad about Fallout 76. There's literally no other explanation, because, like, why the fuck else would they show that off when that game doesn't exist? I mean, hey, at the very least, with Pokemon's fucked up cycle, you can say for sure these games are actually going to come out. These games are actually tangibly real. I got my 50 play coins, my, my Dragonite, my Barney. He came back. Dude, they're having a gold duck raid near my near me. I ain't here to talk to you. Put your gold duck on the phone. You want me to help you beat it? No, I don't need to beat the Golduck raid. I have a Golduck. I'm good. I'm trying to get that damn Poliwrath. I've been, like, Poliwag doesn't exist in Pokemon Go anymore. I've been trying to get a Poliwrath, but, like, the only way I can get candies for it is if I, like, have it as my buddy. How many fucking... I've walked, like, over a hundred kilometers with this fucking polywhirl. Do I have any rare candies? No, I think I used them all for my Mamo swine. Because I really wanted a Mamo swine, because I had, like, a really beefed up Pilo swine. And I think it was a good choice, because Mamo swine is my second strongest guy. At least in terms of the CP. Wait, hold on. It's combat power! Combat power! Hold on. Because of my combat power. I'm a Mamoswine's combat power. Fuck. They could not have chosen a worse fucking acronym if they tried. They really do! It's like the worst possible abbreviation. Just use PP. I already have that in Pokemon. And yeah, it could be like a little haha -ha immature, but like, better than the alternative. It's charge points. Oh my god. I, yeah, admittedly, at the end of this show, I'm kind of just sad we don't have more Pokemon games on NSO. I mean, I'm sure Pokemon Legends Z will be cool, or maybe it'll suck. I don't know, but... Bro, they should have put Pokemon Pinball on NSO. Who's with me? Who wants that? Honestly, you know what was the shit back in the day? Hold on. This is like this was like one of the greatest games of all time when I was a kid. Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire you whipped ass. I loved this shit so much as a kid. I played the fuck out of it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I'm trying to figure out what this. <laughs> Zygarde has game. Why is she leaving? <laughs> this is like the one. Like, you know the one post that's like a K-pop guy, and it's like he's waiting for you at the bar, and someone just replied with, he is literally leaving? <laughs> that's what this image is. Okay, I understand. I understand now. She is literally leaving. They need it. They they should have reversed the the like girl. If you like changed the the placements of the girl, it would be perfect. Anyways, anyways, that's that's all you're getting from me today because Socks is doing Minecraft birthday hell and I'll probably be on net. And if I am not, it's because I'm tired or I have a headache. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with uh, TF2 and shit. Um, we beat Batman last night, which is honestly the most important thing. My, my duty never ends. This is a crazy, this is a crazy image. A crazy image. Dude, do you hear Fergus barking? Is my mom not in the house? Is that why he's barking? Hold on, I think I have to comfort my boy. Good, uh, good, goodbye, everyone. Oh shit! Wait, guys, they just announced Pokemon Stars. Holy shit! 